Hello. I want to do a really quick update to the video that I did years ago on nightshades. Um, I went nightshade free. Some of you know what that is. Nightshades are tomatoes, white potatoes, bell peppers, and things in the nightshade family. Um, it did help me, but I was unable to continue because it was too restrictive. Um, I eat potatoes. I eat tomatoes now. Um, I try not to eat too much of those foods uh, per week. I will eat them uh, maybe two times a week, three times at most. If I go at, uh, any more than that, I do have a flare up and uh, my histamine bucket gets full. So what I think it is is histamine intolerance and mast cell activation syndrome. And I think that it stems from XMRV. And I'm not sure, but obviously um, I haven't been confirmed to have this virus or to still have this virus. But I, when I was a child, 1987, seven years old, I was diagnosed with sepsis and juvenile arthritis. Um, I spent a week at the hospital and not sure what they treated me with. Um, but I do know that my body was severely weakened um, from that point on. I'm not sure if I had any uh, consequences, more consequences from vaccines or from anything like that. Um, I know I was chronically ill and in chronic pain after that happened to me. Um, I'm reading Judy Mikovits book right now called Plague um, or Plague of Corruption. Um, I do think that I had a tick uh, around the time that I was sent to the hospital by my doctors. Um, and I was living in an area where there was new construction in Pennsylvania, farmland, um, tons of ticks. Ticks come from, ticks can have multiple diseases in them from mice and deer um, and birds. But if Judy Mikovits is correct and the virus, the retrovirus that is a part of mice was a vector and went to a tick, um, I might have contracted XMRV that way. So I've been dealing with this for 33 years. I'm 39 this year and I was seven when this happened to me. And I wanna share with you um, some of the supplements that I take on a daily basis. And also um, to kind of say a prayer for uh, people who are also suffering with um, the effects of a retrovirus that, that haven't been um, properly treated. Um, so there are mental, physical, emotional, and life consequences that I think people with, um, th with these viruses have and we are not being properly treated. So I just wanna pray right now that this is looked at in our, our society and recognized for what it is, a severe disabling illness. Um, we could call it my, myo, M-E or S or C-F-S, my, myalgic encephalitis uh, slash chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, it's the type of fatigue that means that you, even a, even any a nap, um, doesn't take care of the fatigue, and it's very agitating um, to the nervous system, which can cause the mental and emotional issues that go along with this. Also, pain, chronic pain. So, um, this morning, uh, I was, I came across um, Joel two twenty eight. And I just want to read it to you from the King James Bible. 
And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and young men shall see visions. I became born again Christian uh, last November after a life of Catholicism, traditional Christian Catholic uh, tradition. That's what it was. Um, but now I, my heart is in Jesus, and Jesus is shrouding me and loving me and he's always been there for me throughout all of this probably the only person that has really really been with me through everything i mean my parents are great my family is wonderful so i don't want anyone to think that i'm saying anything that they weren't there for me um but when you're sick and there's no cure and there's no doctors who will treat you besides psychiatrists and psychologists you start to you start to wonder but I never wondered about Jesus because I know he's always been there and God I believe has a larger plan so all right let me stop that waterworks all right um I had a dream the other night <laughs> where my vocal cords were were tied with like one of those cords that you use for exercise um, but it was like a snake or a worm and it was just being tied around my vocal cords because because of the accusations um, of, that have fallen on Judy Mikovits and pretty much has have made every patient that suffers from what she's talking about uh, not be able to express themselves so I'm, I am resisting. That is the enemy. I know that God is showing me the enemy is trying to stop me from talking about this. And I'm not going to be afraid and I'm not going to put this off anymore. So I'm going to continue talking about this for everyone who suffers from this and for every doctor who's ever told me that there's something wrong in my head. I have a biology degree. It took me nine years or seven years to finish. My dad worked in pharmaceuticals for 30 years. Um, he was an organic chemist with a PhD. We continue to have conversations about all of this, uh, the pharmaceutical industry, biology. Um, I'm not stupid, um, but I haven't been able to work like I would want to be able to work. Um, so right now i'm just going to share with you the supplements that i take on a daily basis um i'm going to start with vitamin d i take vitamin d this is backwards this is from life extension 5000 iu there's some debate over vitamin d because i think it could cause mast cell degranulation and it could cause pain um for at least for people like me. And I have noticed that in myself and I do take pain medication um, while I'm taking vitamin D, but it's, it's a cost benefit thing. If I take vitamin D, my, my whole body is fortified and stronger. Um, I'm less susceptible to weakness and illness. On the other hand, I am in, in pain. Um, so, I'm still trying to figure that out. The next one is pyroxidol 5-phosphate caps. This is B6. It's been enzymated one time. This is really amazing for people who are stressed and whose nerve cells, nerve cells are agitated and, and inflamed. This, if you, and also people who can't uh, metabolize B6 which a lot of people with um, chronic illness will have problems enzymating B6. Now this is, since it's enzymated one time, it's much more um, available to your body and it protects your nervous system. I've noticed that I have a um, significant uh, decrease in depression and anxiety when I take B6 in the form of P5P. Um, this has been a lifesaver to me. This has helped me 
to whittle off the psychiatric medication that I was on in my 20s. Um, I'm now almost 40 and that is no small feat. So if you're going through that, I, I have so much respect for you. And I think psychiatrists need to realize that um, there should be an end goal to your treatment and that you're not going to have to take those medications forever, but they should be weaned down um, slowly because they have severe side effects. Another um, thing that I take is zinc. I put this in water. Um, the medical medium is a great reference and motivator for eating better. Um, this is the liquid concentrate. I sometimes notice a little bit of agitation when I take zinc. Um, I don't know if it increases certain hormones, but it also helps me feel stronger and resist, resist um, infections. Sometimes I take D3 with K2. K2 is really important to make sure that calcium um, is going where it's supposed to go. Um, D3 is going to pull calcium and um, the K2 is what helps put it back into the bones. Um, there's tons of Japanese studies on this or very, very good, reliable Japanese studies on that. Another one that I take is Broccomax. Um, my dad loves this, Dr. Wanda Patrick. Um, I think it's her, her name. Um, is somebody who talks with Joe Rogan about um, Brocco sprouts, sulforaphane, um, helping to decrease your um, risk of, of certain cancers and prolong life, um, prolong cells that take away the bad cells, the dying cells in your body. Um, Another one that I absolutely, absolutely love is magnesium. This one is a time release form. Um, oh wow. Okay, this one has folate in it, which is interesting. I did not realize that this is the one with folate. I don't take folate. So I may have been taking folate and I hadn't looked. 5-methyl-tetrahydrofolic um, acid. I noticed that it um, increases symptoms of depression in me. Um, I've read studies that a quarter of the population could be affected by um, mood changes from, from folate um, in the methylfolate form. So I'm gonna have to look at that. I had a baby 10 months ago, so I was chalking up a little bit of my, um, a little bit of sadness to not getting enough sleep, but I'm gonna have to look at that. Magnesium though is wonderful for anxiety. It's wonderful for muscle cramps. I mean, everybody should be taking magnesium. I usually take magnesium glycinate. Um, I used to take citrate. It has, I, I don't, I don't know. It's a little bit too strong and it has some effects on my gut. Um, I just started taking this again. It's called Mono Lauren. I'll put all of the supplements um, in a link um, below. But this is like caprylic acid and lauric acid from um, coconuts that are they're in these little pebbles. Um, it says to take one scoop once a day, um, but during flu season, one scoop two times a day, and for a specific illness, one scoop three times a day. Uh, gradually build up to a full dose about 10 days to avoid a Herxheimer reaction. And um, I haven't felt a Herxheimer reaction. I started taking this about a week ago. I'm taking, I started with one um, dose and I'm up to two per day and I haven't noticed any Herxima reaction. So, sometimes um, the Herxima reaction will come on and I do take pain medication um, that's been prescribed from my doctor. Um, 
I think what the Herxheimer reaction is, is this intuitive feeling that this, the treatment is helping to fortify the body and to um, sustain the cells, but uh, it's also causing some pain or ill feeling in the body. Um, so it's a balance for anybody who's chronically ill, they know that their health is, is just a, in the balance and it's a constant um, kind of, you put one you know, weight on this side and then you gotta figure out what to do on this side and then you gotta figure out um, how to balance it. So I just want everyone to know that you should be speaking up if you're told that you're talking about conspiracy theories like no if it's not being talked about by the mainstream media it's not necessarily a conspiracy theory i think that the mainstream media assumes that we just believe everything that they say as you know the word um we all know that they tell us well most of us know they tell us what they want us to hear and they want us to believe and that's their narrative um those corporations are owned by people who are obviously lobbying um certain parts of our government world governments and national governments um we shouldn't be afraid to speak out and while i'm not a globalist i am i am for the united states obviously i'm a citizen but i do think that as human beings we need to all realize that we are fighting these princes and principalities um as the bible says we need to stick together we need to keep talking about this um they're gonna try to vaccinate all of us and um as judy mikovitz has said why would you want to vaccinate an immune compromised person a person who their immune system is compromised doesn't react healthy in a normally to um, infection why would you inject them with um, the RNA or DNA of a, a virus um, which is what they're doing in um, and what I've seen in the um, coronavirus vaccine that they are pushing well we'll start pushing soon so I just hope you all have a really good day. Um, I just want to provoke conversation about this. If you want to tell your story, I feel free to tell your story. I can't respond to all comments. Um, I wish I could, but I will be thinking of you and praying for you, and I will keep talking about this. Um, and I hope that you'll find you'll find a way to also keep talking about this. I don't think you know, people who put people down for being, you know, keyboard warriors or whatever, like, I'm sorry, but I think that we are a force to be reckoned with. We have to keep talking. Um, we need to make sure Judy Mikovits knows that we are so proud of her for putting this information out there and um, for going through everything that she went through um, to just to get this out there to us. So thank you so much for listening and um, have a wonderful day. Bye.